we'll start off a new one here. Uh, this is the panel I said that didn't have the little uh, tabs on it. And I clamped this down yesterday. Hopefully this board didn't stick to it. And I put several layers of uh, glass tape down to form little, little tabs. As you can see right there, I've got some yeah, some little tabs to cut down to, to to match the ones on the other side here. Uh, they're not thick enough, so I'll probably go ahead and uh, thicken them up a little bit. Okay, this is the one I told you about that uh, I had the big missing part right in here, and then there was also a missing piece in here. And I took some two inch or some two millimeter uh, plywood and cut out to fit in here and so it's got a part in here I'll have to glass over this and then fill this in uh, with some fairing compound and then probably since there's so much glass work on here I may uh, cover this whole area with glass I may cover the whole nose with the glass and back out here. As you can see where it, it, it was cracked up in here and then over in here and then down the side and then there was crack down in here too so uh, I may just glass over the whole thing and uh, paint it, sand it down, glass it and paint it. Maybe a bright yellow. Who knows. And down in here there was a uh, broken out spot in here and up in here, so I put another piece of two millimeter glass cloth or wood and then glass cloth, and there's probably a couple layers of glass on this. So go ahead and pull this off. So now I've got to make a template up for this arc and transfer it over here and cut that out. So let me go ahead and do that. Well, I had my cardboard, piece of cardboard cut. You know, a piece of cardboard that I will, um, let me uh, smooth this little, this little projection right there. We'll come back. Get my rasp out. And do a little bit. There. And as you can see, I went to a smaller piece of cardboard. I didn't need something as big as what I had, and I also went to a stronger clamp to keep it from moving around on me. So all we're going to do now is just and then mark, put a mark down in there that that's the center. Oh, so now I got that. And what I'll do now is just bust this in half. Nope, you can't see that. Break it in half and trim it out here. And that should give me the exact opposite, or uh, the same mirror image on this side. We'll come back. So I was trying to debate whether I wanted to use this part or the thicker part, so I thought I'd use the thicker part, and I just folded it over on itself and drew a new line in here. So let me cut this part out. Well, I have the part cut out, but I'm probably going to have to take this thing off and flip it over because I got to glass the back side anyway uh, and then uh, and then trim it out and I got my center line marked so then I'm probably going to up in here um, see if I can make the duplicate of the curve on this side put a little piece of uh, maybe another piece of wood or something in here to act like this brace and then wrap something around I don't know. It seems, yeah. It's like, is this thing ever going to get finished? It's sunny out, and I have things I want to do. I want to ride my T Max. Well, I will give you a little bit of glass work here. This is already um, got some glass underneath of it, but I want to um, wet out the plywood. And 
put a little bit of one layer down first. And put some more epoxy on. We'll probably put another layer on after we get this one done too, so and then push this way in. I got another clamp. Oops, get off there. I need to stick on after I get this wet out. Make sure that one's in there and pushes it into the curve and now just let that be now I can go up here on top and I'll go ahead and put a layer of glass on the outside here and I'll probably put another layer of glass on top of that maybe I don't know A lot of this will get trimmed off. Well, I added some more glass cloth to my little tabs, so they're as strong as I'm going to make them now. I'm just going to sand them down on the back side here and clean them up so I don't, you know, hurt myself moving around with these panels. And then this is the one that had the um, cutout. Now it's got a piece of, um, there's probably three or four layers of glass cloth filling this hole. And then I uh, uh, had the uh, piece in here, and then it's got probably, well, I know it's got two layers of glass on glass cloth on both sides. And uh, here's the inside part, and then and here's the outside part. So. And then on this, the other side that was completely broken off, I've got two layers of glass cloth holding this piece of um, two millimeter plywood in here. Now I've got to uh, wet out this side and then sand this down and put on uh, at least two layers of cloth on this. Probably I'm going to sand the whole nose down and put a, a whole sheet of, of new cloth across the top and then um, go from there. But I need to add some more here to keep this from bending because this one uh, uh, is under some tension because it bolts through here. I got to drill a couple holes for the bolts to go through to hold it onto that one that was split panel. Well, you can see I've got uh, on the uh, side here, I've sanded this down to give me a better coating for the epoxy to hold and uh, got that. So I'm going to put uh, probably a little narrow strip in here and then a full strip it might be a little wider and then another one. I'll probably put at least three on this on this side and uh, I don't know if I'll, depends on what I got left over for epoxy, I may stick something down here on on this part down here. I, you, know, you can't see where I'm poking to. I may put another piece down in here. Yeah, well, I guess I could waste some time doing this get plenty of epoxy in here to help the wet out There's a little crack in here I'll go ahead and scrape some off to fill that up I could have done some um, gel magic in there, I guess, with a putty knife, but that'll work. I 
probably should have rounded this edge over a little more because I know the glass is not going to want to set down in there as well as it should. I just wanted to bunch up here. Ah, don't make it worse than what you need. I feel like I'm that guy that used to show people how to paint mountains. Uh, if you just do a little bit of here, oh, here's a nice little tree. Let's put in a, a little lake in here in the front. <laughs> Bob something or other, I can't remember what. He always had that perm. I was reading a story about him the other day. He was like a 20-year career Air Force guy. I may have to put uh, some plastic along here and a piece of uh, wood to uh, hold that down. You can see how this area here is trying to lift. So let me uh, zoom back. Okay, got a piece of plastic here I'm going to stick down on top of it. And then I've got a board here that I'll clamp on. <laughs> Some more of them here. here. And I need to, okay. And you can see up in here where it was light colored. I'll just go ahead and throw these gloves away just smooth the glass out and I don't know if I might be able to get some yeah. those are too I got some of these things that are just too damn strong so let me get one of these guys. And it doesn't help when your arthritis kicks in either. Okay, that should hold me down. Okay, we'll see what happens when that cures, but I'm pretty sure that that'll that'll be tight around the edge. This one will hold down the once the bottom side, and this one will hold up on the other side. Normally, on when I'm building boats, uh, I always caution people to to round out. Well, here's some paper plywood, uh, like round over the edge never have a sharp edge because the glass the glass will never set on it it'll be flat on one side and raised on the other so just put a slight radius in it and then you know like an eighth of an inch radius and then um, glass will settle on it so we'll come back tomorrow